Welcome back, 914. Breakthrough medical treatments are making headlines today. The first new Alzheimer's treatment in 20 years has now been given full FDA approval and reports that a new breast cancer vaccine could actually eliminate the disease by 2030. Fox Medical Team's Dr. Mike joining me to discuss this morning. Wow, Dr. Mike, let's start with this breast cancer vaccine. So far, they're saying it's shown great promise with some saying a cure is in sight. Tell us how this works and why it appears to be so promising. Well, I, I'm stoked about this. I, I really am. Sylvia, uh, when it comes to cancer, I've been in practice long enough, about 30 years now, uh, to remember uh, the days when uh, uh, we, we used chemotherapy and everybody that had a particular kind of thing got the same treatment. What we're doing now is we're doing personalized precision medicine. And this study looked at using a vaccine. And what they did was they took breast cancer. That's a particularly nasty type of breast cancer that has a high uh, incidence of recurrence. And they gave a vaccine to folks that were treated traditionally. And they found not one recurrence in these 15 women, and they would have expected wow. about half of them to get a recurrence. And what they did was they targeted uh, a protein that this type of tumor cell produces uh, called lactalbumin, and they put it in a vaccine, and it's working. Wow. So what could happen down the road is that if someone has a high risk of breast cancer or someone has a family history or a BRCA gene mm -hmm. uh, derangement, uh, we might be able to give them a vaccine wow. to prevent breast cancer. That's spectacular. Okay, I have two more questions, so let's get through these quickly because we've got to get this in. You mentioned triple negative. Would that vaccine only be specifically for women with that type of breast cancer? This particular vaccine, yes. But they're working on other types of breast cancers, even pancreatic cancer, ovarian cancer. Mm. It, it, it's the future so bright, Sylvia, wow. you got to wear shades. Okay, I love to hear that, yeah. doctor. I love to hear that. Okay, let's move on to this Alzheimer's drug that was announced a few weeks ago. It's been shown to significantly slow this disease progression in patients. This is big news. First treatment in 20 years, new treatment, FDA approved. So many families waiting to see if this is going to help them. Uh, so who does this specifically work for and when can people get access to it? Well, the, the one that's already been FDA approved uh, even has gone through uh, meetings with Medicare and uh, look, this this type of monoclonal antibody, and there's a couple of them in the pipeline, uh, what happens is it goes after those protein tangles, uh, those amyloid uh, protein tangles, and it's been shown to reduce progression of the illness dramatically, but it has to be early on in the diagnosis. Now, my mother had Alzheimer's. At the end of the Alzheimer's course that she unfortunately suffered with, uh, it, it, this type of medication would not do anything. Mm -hmm. It's got to be early on, and it's not a cure. It also has some side effects. But what I'm excited about is the fact that we are making headway and we're actually seeing tremendous statistically significant benefits with this line of, of, of treatment. And so I think, again, just like with the breast cancer vaccines, put your seatbelt on mm -hmm. because I think in the next five, 10 years, it's going to be an exciting ride. What a great positive morning with you. This is wonderful news and hopefully we'll see all this take place even sooner than we all expect. Dr. Mike, always a pleasure to see you.